Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance where we tried to do percent and in the previous episode we finally did it. We have every single alternate character unlocked. It's time to play them. We are ready to go and I'm just super excited to get into these. I've heard some really cool things about a few of them. I've played a few of them a little bit of course. I've said about the alt lost. I mainly played him off camera a lot because he is tedious and difficult and he would take leave. He's be I've already played him for like 15 hours with the max that I've got off him. And on, on camera, it would just take far too long, um, and it'd be many, many restarts. But anyways, I think I'm going to play as Kane to start with, because Kane is the one that we actually unlocked first, and the, the one that I actually saw. I don't know all what all of them do, but yeah, I know what Kane does, and he seems really interesting. Uh, I've been watching a few other people play him, like Huts and Northern Lion, and he just seems super interesting. Of course, Kane here starts with the crafting bag. Which means we don't get items, but instead we have this little bag here where we can swipe up consumables and different combinations of consumables make different items. And from what I've heard as well, it's not like a random uh, random uh, recipe each run. Like they are set recipes for every item in the game. So if you know what you're doing with this character, you can actually get specific items. Like first of all, let's take this pill. Let's get that in the bag. We, um, we just press Q and we swipe at it and we get it. Um, and we're going to see what we can end up making. There's some really cool stuff that you can do with this guy. And yeah, I've not really played it. I, I've tested him out a little bit, but I've not really played as him too much. And I'm just super excited because this guy, he, he's literally craft your own run. Um, and I just, I'm so excited to play the old characters because they really are remarkable. And the amount of work that went into this DLC, like the... the wasn't even announced before the release with the alt characters is absurd. Like, the alt characters aren't like the base game characters. Most of the base game characters are like, look at this unique active I have, and I have slightly different stats. These guys are like, nah, I'm gonna t like flip it on its head. Like, this is so different from what the game normally has to offer. And it's apparently very much the same with a lot of the alts. Ooh, a charge key. That's a unique, uh, a unique thing. And of course, as you'll see, we don't get items, but we did get a Fuck ton of coins. Holy shizzle. So let's uh, take all of those. And honestly, red candle is amazing. Red candles are super good items to get. Uh, so that that uh, combination of items that we just got there is the recipe for red candle. Like, if we did that exact combination on another run, whether it's the first floor, last floor, whatever, we would get red candle again. Um, and honestly, that's very, very good to know because that's a pretty easy recipe to make. Um, and red candle's fantastic. Uh, let's... Suck up a bomb here. I probably should have not sucked up the bomb and gone for the tinted rock. One thing that I have been told with Kane is you have to be very careful about what you suck up and what you don't. Because managing your health especially and knowing when to suck up HP and soul hearts and knowing when to keep them is a very, very difficult balancing act. Uh, and it can lead to you getting killed a lot. Like if you, if you just suck up everything into your crafting bag. You end up with more items, but you're truly a glass cannon. So we're going to hope that we don't have to worry about that too much. I'm going to take out this guy first because he seems like the most annoying. Um, and then we're mainly going to use Red Candle for most of our damage here, to be honest. Uh, Red Candle is the best. I'm pretty sure this is like no jumpy monster, the one that doesn't dive into the air. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but he doesn't do the, the, the big massive sky jump. He kind of stays put and just opens his big gob. As you can see, Red Candle here augmented our damage in a fantastic way. Very, very nice to see. Good, good, good. And then again, we're going to crack this open and we got some real good stuff here. We got some real good stuff. So let's move this out the way. Grab that. Again, move this out the way. Grab that. Grab that. Grab. Let's grab the bomb this time and let's go and uh, probably open up a tinted rock and see if we can get... If we get two soul hearts, I'll suck one up. If we only get one, I'm just going to take it because we do need the HP. Okay, so there you go. I got one. Put one in the bag. Uh, and yeah, this is this is a pretty good setup already. Golden bombs, lucky pennies, charge keys. They, they all count as their own separate things. Um, so in that way, you can, there's, there's just so many recipes to go at. And as the rarity of the consumable increases, like golden bombs and lucky pennies are rare, you get better and better items. So we should hopefully see a very good item come out of this. Uh, I'm really hoping at least. I don't know how good it'll end up being. I don't know how exactly deal with the devils and angels and all that sort of stuff work and how getting items from different item pools works. Like, maybe you have to have eternal hearts for angels and you have to have black hearts for deal with the devils. I'm not 100% sure, but we will find out along the way. Um, poops. 
So there's another heart. We could put the heart in there. And as well, you can press control to swap out the item order. Uh, so you can swap out different items. So if we want to swap out a penny, uh, then we can. And that allows you to change recipes on the fly when you find new items on the floor. Of course, it does mean that the consumable that you entered into the uh, crafting bag is now gone. I completely forgot how these guys worked. I was like, let's kill him with fire. He's like, yeah, they, they don't give a shit about fire. <laughs> um... Yeah, so the the consumable's gone if that if you do that, but it does allow you to trade recipes and stuff. Did we sound like we got a chest this room, but I don't think we did. I think I'm just losing the plot. I think I'm just losing the plot. Nice. Okay, we just need like one more cool thing to put in this. So, I don't exactly remember what this trinket does, but we don't have a trinket at the minute, so I'll go with that. It's interesting to see that trinkets aren't crafted. Trinkets are just like normal. We do have ourselves a tinted rock right here, so I am going to take the bomb and go for that. Do you know what? Let's put a soul heart in the uh, in the bag. And we got chocolate milk. That's pretty fucking good, right? Chocolate milk's pretty amazing. Uh, it's a pretty good damage. Have we been to our item room yet? I don't believe we have. It's very hard to see with the item tracker and everything whether you've been to the item room or not. It's not... You don't have the items that you got in your item room in the item tracker so it's it's kind of kind of hard to remember what you've done and what you haven't but that was pretty good and chests are really good Ooh, this is kind of good angel feathers will give us angel items oh that's a great item but sadly we get nothing i'll take the soul heart this time just to preserve our health i will take one key and i will suck up the rest because we need to make sure we have enough keys for our item rooms on the future floors but so far chocolate milk plus red candle this is a good run this is a very, very cool and interesting run. I very much like it. Um, this is a hard boss fight. I do not like it. Please go away. Luckily, we, we kind of wrecked that. <gasps> yes, Rotten Hearts are great. Apparently, they are quite prominent in quite a lot of recipes. Um, so we can check our deal with the devil here. I'm going to suck everything up here, by the way. And we get Ventricle Razor. So one thing I do know is if you get a Space Bar item and then you get another one, it just deletes your first Space Bar item. It doesn't drop it on the floor or anything. So Red Candle would be gone here if we did this. So the Shovel. We definitely don't care about the Shovel at all. Uh, so let's just dip to the next floor. In fact, I probably shouldn't have gone in there so we can get an Angel Deal next floor. I mean, we still can, but it's a lesser chance. I was like, why aren't I firing then? And I was realized, oh yeah, I've got chocolate milk. That's kind of a big part of this run. Like one of the instrumental things that we're using to win. Ooh, a pill. So pills are really good. So I'm going to swap out that out for a coin. And we get a Thame. I don't think a Thame can give, um, can give black hearts anymore. So it's really not that valuable. So I think we hold off on that. I think we, we, we hold off on a Thame. This is a fucking awful room. I do not like this room in any way, shape, or form. Right, crack into here. See what we get. Okay. Okay. <laughs> breakfast? Uh, yeah, do you know what? Honestly, we need the HP. Let's just take breakfast. It's not the best in the world, but it's pretty nice. And child's heart, honestly. I will take child's heart 100%. More hearts for healing with, uh, but also more hearts for crafting with. Anything that ups your consumable gain is going to be very, very useful. I don't actually know how Child Heart works in terms of if it adds additional hearts or replaces existing consumables with hearts. I cannot remember. But either way, it's going to be useful. Oh, my God. I think we're uh, on just red health now, so let's be careful. Oh, that can go over gaps. I, I, I always forget whether it can go over gaps or not because I know it can't go over rocks. Go on, walk into that fire. You bastard. There you go. And that's a pretty good haul there. We'll definitely take that. Did not mean to take the bomb, but hey her, that's just the way it is. But yeah, I wonder how like common health upgrades and stuff are gonna be as as compared to damage upgrades. Is it gonna be a pretty even distribution and they're gonna be kind of similar crafting? Or are health upgrades gonna be like super easy to craft compared to damage upgrades? Grab that. But yeah, it definitely seems like the least. You want the least amount of coins in your recipes because they lead to the worst items because obviously coins are super common and drop in high numbers. But that makes a lot of sense. Good. 
These rooms are definitely more valuable now. I'll definitely open this up and see what we end up getting. Just because, of course, the uh, the value of the consumables is far higher than uh, they normally would be. Because we need them for crafting now. How, how are you not on fire, dude? Look how close you are to that fire. Okay, that actually was perfect. <laughs> we got an insta-kill on uh, two of those. So three keys here. We take one. We uh, snag two. And double coin, double key. Of course, as you, as you probably noticed, it's always eight items. Um, eight consumables for an item. That, 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 that doesn't change. Oh, fuck. I did the wrong thing. No, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button. I pressed my crafting bag rather than my red key. Whoopsie. Do that. Uh, see now, item room, everything. Probably don't need to search this floor too much more. Secret rooms are something that I should really look into getting into. Okay, this guy's going to be kind of hard. He does move away from our fires quite a lot. Damn you. Fly into that. Okay, one of you did fly into that a lot. Oh, you bastard. Boom. And we got the uh, Necronomicon, which obviously doesn't matter to us because we ain't going to actually get it. Um, Another key... Let's go with, like, wait a minute. We can pick up that heart. Let's go with, we'll take that. We'll grab that and put another coin in. Hot bombs? Or do we roll for something a little better than hot bombs? Probably roll for something a little better than hot bombs, right? Anyways, down we go. It's kind of a fine science as well with this guy, this very cool character. Of Do you, do you just craft whatever you get or do you hold out for something better knowing that you're going to get less items in the, uh, in the long run? Like, is it better to hold out for rarer items or get more lower tier items? It's kind of a, a, a fine science of what's best. And uh, it's going to take a while for people to figure it out. I don't know how many people have really delved into Kane too much by now. But I'm sure a lot of people have been playing him a lot. I'm sure many people, this is their favorite character now just because how unique it is and different. Good. Only the champion one left. Damn it. Didn't quite hit him on the noggin where I wanted. Okay, that was good. Uh, yeah, we'll throw that in there instead of a penny. And that's fucking insanely good. So options, as we've previously seen, gives us two consumables at the end of a room. But I am betting, I am betting that it allows you to pick both of them up with a crafting bag. I guarantee it, pretty much. that it Because normally you have to pick them up. Like, by walking into one of them, the other disappears. I guarantee that we can just get both. Also, these rooms seem pretty good. Um, like, let's just bomb this dude. Key and key. Good, good. Yeah, more options seems like it could be really, really strong. Really? How do I fire one of those and it doesn't hit a single one of you? Okay, one of you walked into it at least. So, let's have a look-see. Oh, no. It actually did disappear, one of them. Okay, so maybe I hit it, hit it at the wrong angle there. But even still, having the ability to get double the options... Let's, let's try this again. No, we, we just got the coin then. Okay, they thought about this. I, I really expected this to be a really a small little break here. Where they hadn't quite considered the possibility of Kane's crafting bag plus more options. And we'd be able to get both. But, nope. Isaac's changed, man. They they know about all this janky shit that we try and do. They, 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 they caught us. They're on to us. They know about all the cheaty things that we try to do. And they are prepared. I wish I had a bomb right now. That'd be so good for that. Oh, stupid me. But as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, HP is a major concern for us right now. We really don't have a lot of it. Uh, I am going to bomb. Yeah, I did get the bomb good. And I'm just going to bomb this. Oh, I was really hoping for a pill payout there. Pills seem to be pretty good in crafting recipes too. Pill and cards especially seem to be like two things that putting in putting them in crafting recipes usually yields pretty good stuff. But yeah, because we're not getting like guaranteed HP upgrades from our bosses, our HP is pretty static at what it is. And it's going to be hard to, to, gan to garner more and get more. Definitely would like a damage upgrade as well. That would be fantastic. But I don't know how easy they are to get. Is it going to take us a while to find that sort of thing or not? 
Okay. We should be fine to kill these pretty pretty damn easily, especially considering they will inevitably fly into the fires. Um, let's go with the health again. Yeah, and of course, I think just one one thing that's probably going to be key with playing this character, obviously the first time here, I I, I guarantee we don't do too well this time around. Um, I'm hoping we can at least beat Mum's Heart and get some, some uh, completion marks, although I don't believe on the alt characters that Mum's Heart is actually an unlock. Um, but... We can hopefully at least get that ticked off. Um, yeah, and I just, like, as we go on, I'm sure we're going to learn some really key crafting recipes that are really important to craft early and relatively cheap. That's going to be something that I guess a lot of people are going to end up learning with this character. And like I said, I'm sure many of the people that are, um, that are avidly playing this character now, oh, I'm so stupid, um, have already got, like, five or six really key crafting recipes. Like, things like Humbling Bundle. Like... Imagine how insane that would be on this guy. Uh, we have one key. We can take that. Ugh, not a great item. Uh, let's try and trade out the coin then, shall we? And get something a little better. Yeah, I, I gotta say, like, humbling bundle giving you double, uh, like, fanny pack. Anything that's gonna give you extra consumable gain seems like it could be very, very strong. I hate this room with a passion. Why are you the way you are? I'm talking to the room here. Like, dude, 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 where is the last leech? Why are you over there? How did that not hit you, you shitbag? Right, halo. Sadly, we don't actually get the halo here. Right, let's let's go a bit wild. Put that in there. All right, do you know what? Booster pack. I'm going for it. Let's see if there's anything really, really good in here. Two of diamonds. The hermit. The fool. The hermit. No. <laughs> Honestly, there's some... Two of diamonds is nice, but I genuinely think what we do here is we just go... Recraft. And literally just do... What? I put all that into it and I get Glaucoma. <laughs> no, thank you. Glaucoma is not worth it. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Probably go to the next one. We might actually... We haven't fought our boss yet. Our boss item might yield something pretty good. I thought that this many cards would be like... Absolutely stellar items, not Glaucoma. Glaucoma is not great, but let's go fight our boss, see what we end up getting. I'm absolutely loving this though. This is, this is like some of the fucking Isaac player's dream. Or the, these, the, the people that like min-max every little part of Isaac and take their time with every single little process. This is their dream character, I think. What even hit me? Oh, there's a fucking little fella behind him. Wow, okay. I am taking some absolutely stupid damage right now. The pooters are so so fucking difficult now. Yeah, we 100% need a damager. How are you growing up so fast? God damn it! I think they fixed it where he spawn he spawns the um, the little growth on top of each other and they just kill kill themselves. I think they actually just grow twice as quick if he does that now. Oh, the pooter! They're so difficult! <laughs> Divorce papers, wouldn't it be nice? Uh, let's throw a key in the mix. <clears throat> this many cards, and it gives me little fucking baggy. Honestly, PhD's pretty good. I'll take PhD. That many cards, and it gives me little baggy. What a troll of a game. That shouldn't even be possible. That's a, that's a crazy recipe right there. Although I suppose it proves that you're not using cards, so. God damn. Red, I can't believe how, like, instrumental Red Candle is in this run. This run is not great. Like, this, this, this is what I mean with this character, though. If you don't actually know what you're doing, like, you don't know some items to go for, like, some key upgrades, it does seem like it might be pretty difficult to, uh, to actually build a decent run. That's a room I'd very much like to get over to, but... We really do need flight if we want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Although, if he's, he is going to reform. Oh, the reform sounds new. And it sounds awesome. It sounds so... Uh, juicy. And gross. Pick the key. Oh, we don't currently have a key. We shouldn't have done that. We should have uh, actually picked up the key there. 
But yeah, so far we haven't seen any damage upgrade items. Like, what I probably should be doing is sitting on Platinum God, and because uh, Platinum God actually has a full list of all of the crafting recipes for this thing now. Uh, so maybe I should be like sitting on Platinum God, like researching different items to craft. But at the same time, especially when doing a video, I really don't want to take us out of the run too much, and I'm kind of just letting it roll. But that definitely seems like a very, very good way to play this character. If you're actually like seeing and visualizing on the floor what's there and what you can craft with that. Rotten Heart is pretty good. We'll definitely scoop that up. Take the money there. Well, I'm hoping for a key soon because we need to get into our item room. Okay, that was, that was the most dumb of all of you. Deep Pockets? Honestly, yes, yes. Okay, let's take Deep Pockets because Deep Pockets increases our amount of money, but also what Deep Pockets does is if, if a room doesn't drop a consumable at the end of the room, um, it instead gives three to, I think it's like three to five coins, which of course we could just use in crafting. So extra consumable gain is always good. Okay, we don't have a key to get in there yet. Well, yeah, so far our set of items and the floor that we're on, we're on Necro 1. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. It's not great. We should have a lot more than that by now. And also, cool, that brimstone just destroyed me. I will take the nickel. I know that the chest is probably better, but nickel's good too. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Ooh. Pill. We'll take that. We'll grab that. But yeah, definitely, I'm, I'm seeing the uh, the whole. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. The whole managing health business in. Ain't so easy. Oh my god, I died. Okay, let's let's roll another one. Um, let's see what we can end up getting get going here. Ooh, a rune. Runes could be fucking fantastic in crafting recipes, right? I don't know. I don't really care what the rune is. If it's Yera, it would have been better, but I don't think it is. Ooh. Safety scissors is pretty good. Uh we can't actually get that, so why not just suck it up? But yeah, this is interesting but scary. I I don't think unlocks with this character are going to be super easy unless we, like, proper craft up a run on purpose. We'll put a card in there as well. Why not? Um, we'll take we'll take the bombs and we'll put the rest in the bag. Let's hope. We, we just got to hope for a really good first floor item. That's kind of it. Oh, my God. The little, the little fucking fly almost got me. That, that's what killed me last run. Don't kill me again. That's not fair. Okay, these guys have... Yeah, we're dead again. Okay, them guys split up and it scared the shit out of me. Okay, pills. That's that, that could be good. But yeah, I'm, I'm already finding this character very, very difficult. He's very cool and very unique and I'm, I'm excited to play him, but... I mean, to be fair, though, these alt characters, from what it seems like, are all meant to be difficult. Ooh, that's possibly good. Uh, yeah, so we'll grab... Do you know what? Let's just grab fucking everything. We got ourselves this? What the hell's this? The everything jar. What? I genuinely have no idea what this item is. I think we unlocked this for beating Eden with the the beast. Oh, okay. So, it's a 12 room charge and all it did was spawn troll bombs. So I'm, I'm going to assume based on the sprite that was inside the jar. Oh, okay. And this time it's got a poop in it. Oh, and it's usable now as well. Okay. So, probably usable at each charge interval. I Maybe it gives random stuff each time, and at 12 charges, it literally gives a random effect. That's kind of interesting, if that's what, if that's that the case. If it does just spawn, like, a bunch of troll bombs at max charge, that's kind of dumb. But, based on the spray inside the jar, it was like a glitched out texture. And based on what I think Alt Lost does, from what I remember, um, from what I've been told... The, I can kind of envisage it being something like that, yeah. Okay. But this is an interesting item to get, because it could give us various consumables. I don't know if what you get with each level of charge is predictable. We got a bomb this time. Deadeye would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Um... Right, I'm just going to get everything. Yep, I'll take it. Breakfast is pretty good this early on. 
Did we just slip through between two poops? Oh my god. That's strange. That confuses me. So, it's, so I, I, th I think with, with this item, it's kind of like, do we hold out for a really good item? A really good consumable? Or do we just use it every two rooms to get ourselves extra bombs or whatever? Like... It's, this is an interesting item. I like the idea. So we got we got a key in it this time. We don't need keys. So my 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 sort of thinking with this is it's just it's called the everything jar. It, it it is literally what you need when you need it. Like you just wait enough room charges and you get the consumable that you need. Like now it's got a heart in it. So I'm wondering what it gets in the later charges. Are we, are we gonna get like any soul hearts or etern eternal hearts? Because they'd be great. And I wonder, like, how good the truly random effects are going to be. Or, like like I said, is it even truly random? I don't actually know. I'm going to assume that it is. That would, that's the only thing that could, that could make sense to me. So we got a card in there this time. I'm going to take these bombs. We got triple key so far. Yeah, I'm really going to hold out for, um... Probably a waste of a bomb there, but... I'm probably going to hold out for a good few charges and see what we can get. So there is a soul heart in there. Great to know. Temperance is something we don't really care about, so we're just going to scoop that up. Um, Yeah. Soul heart is great to know. Oh, this boss is painful with low damage. It takes so long. <laughs> it takes so, so long. Uh, we are going to get cued me. Again, I don't actually know. I can't, I can't remember if I said this at the start of the episode or not. Like, each item in the game, obviously, when you take it, it turns into consumables. Does it turn into random consumables, or does each item have a set of consumables that it turns into? Can you predict what you're going to get from a certain, like, cube of meat? Does it always drop, like, say, five coins, two bombs, and a key? Or is it, like, completely random each run what each item gives? I'm going to guess it's random each run, but it would also be interesting if it wasn't. Being able to predict what you can get from certain, uh, certain items in the game. Right, good, good. Taken out. We got a soul hat. We got a golden heart in our charge. This is good stuff. So I think we take the soul heart in here. I'm going to grab the key this time. It's already got enough keys. Let's grab up the dime. Let's grab up the bomb. And then let's use this and grab up the golden heart. What in the shit is that? Oh, yes. That's great. Member's access is great. Uh, but the other item, Peeper's Eye for all that stuff. Ugh. I have to say, I'm a little confused by the crafting recipes. I put a dime in there, and you're really going to give me Peeper's Eye? Okay, this room is cooked. We're good, though. We're good. So, yeah, okay. So, it's given us a poop this time again. So, I'm going to assume that it cycles through the same items each time. So this time, let's let it get past the golden uh, heart. But golden heart's a pretty good one. Like, uh, as I said, you get rarer items with rarer consumables in the bag, and golden heart's a pretty rare one. So this is just a coin, right? Oh, so we didn't see this one last time because we skipped by it because of the double, the double charge room. We didn't actually see the coin last time. Grab that. I wonder if we can get troll bombs in there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Oh my god, I launched it at that spider. That was insane. So, wait, can we just, like, hit enemies? Okay, we can hit enemies. Oh, we discovered that last time, didn't we? We could hit enemies. Also, I just lost my deal with the devil, but honestly, I don't give a damn. What the fuck is this room? Why? There's never normally spiders in this room, is there? This room seems tough. This is, like, a, a, an alt version of the basement room that's similar, but with spiders instead of flies. For the most part. And it's it's horrible. It's genuinely nightmare fuel. Spiders are the worst. But yes, damage upgrade. Very imper imperative. I would love it. Um, maybe we'll look up some easy recipes. And see if we can craft anything cool. Because we're kind of just doing it completely randomly right now. Kind of just like... Shooting fast into the wind at the moment. Right, spiders, please go away. We'll take a key again. I'm probably just going to take whatever this gives me, even if it's a dime. It, it wasn't, but still. Suck that up. Okay, spiders? Why? Why do you exist? Just Could you just not for a bit? Could you just not for a bit? I mean, at least they are not super aggressive. Still, though. Come on. Come on, guys. What are you doing? 
So this uh, there's a pill here. I'm gonna take that because we just need the healing. Uh, we haven't found our item room yet. Let's go and find that. But this is this is all like so very exciting. <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about this character and the the tainted characters or alt characters of the R, but I'm so excited for them. It's so cool. It's such a unique way to be able to play the game, and I'm really excited that we're uh, that we're getting some really cool stuff going on here. Uh, so key, yeah, we'll suck up another key. Why not? We don't need the keys. Okay, this little bomb spider is going to be annoying. But, oh, why did I stand so close to him? Spiders move in such an annoying way. God damn it. Another key. Okay, we're getting a lot of keys in here. Um, I don't know how valuable that is. Like, again, I don't really know what's best to put in the bag. Okay, we got an item. Let's just craft it up. The moving box, which got rid of... What was that spacebar item before? I genuinely can't remember. Oh, it was the everything jar. Ah, oh, you shit. Fuck you. <laughs> God damn it. Honestly, the moving box is pretty good, though. The moving box is pretty good. So, we're not going to be able to get any of this. Uh, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to craft up the rest. So, that's kind of annoying that on Curse of the Blind, that you're just kind of getting shafted by, uh, by accidentally crafting a spacebar item and ruining the cool thing that you had. Ech. So, check our members' access area. Do you know what? I'm going to buy a blank rune. Uh, just for the opportunity to put it in our box. Let's see what we get. Experimental treatment. It was okay. We we did get HP up from it too, which is nice. Um, then, I, I was going to say I'll buy an item, but I can't. Oh, wait. I might be able to, actually. I might be able to. Damn it. Did give us deal with the devil chance, though. Let's go. So, did we pick everything up in here? I think we did. Yes, we did. But I've got a bit of an idea with Moving Box. Moving Box is a very interesting item. It essentially allows you to pick up any item and take them anywhere. So, essentially, if we can get a lot to drop in a single room, we can Moving Box it and basically take stuff between floors and then craft everything. Like, be able to have, like, a free reign of what we choose. That was perfect. That was so good. Um take that. We'll take that into crafting. I'll grab this. Uh, I'll pick that up. I'll pick that up and I'll craft with that. Let's go. So, so far the gold members card has paid off a bit. It's been kind of nice. Experimental treatment ain't bad. I mean, actually, you could pretty, probably pretty easily craft yourself spun, right? Oh, maybe even guppy. I wonder how easy it is to craft guppy. I'm sure that guppy takes some, like, real specific recipes, like, Black hearts and probably actually takes a lot of rotten hearts because they produce flies. So that makes sense. Or um, I wonder if runes are different. Like if you use a Bacano rune over a blank rune, does it give you different effects? I don't think it does because the cards and runes seem to be generic. But that'd be kind of interesting if Bacano runes specifically gave you Guppy. Oh, what in... What in the fuck am I doing with my life? I cannot dodge for shit as this, as this character for some reason. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting... The, the very, very low damage is definitely getting me down. Um, 3.5 damage. Of course, not even Kane, normal Kane's base damage. He has 4.2. Um, it's very upsetting. I will say that. It's very upsetting. I would very, very much like to uh, be able to kill things fast. God damn it. Can you guys please die? This is taking so long. Oh my god. How many times do I need to hit you? Everything's taking so long to die. So we do have a moving box play in here. So I actually think we pop it in here. Um, and we try and move everything into this room. We try and move as much as we can into that one room. Because that could be interesting, right? Please. Yeah, our damage is so abysmal. And I don't know how to craft any damage items. Like, let's... um. Oh my god. Let's take a little look-see at the Platinum God and try and purposely, because we've got so many consumables in that room. Um, right, let's take a little look-see at Platinum God and go to the Bag of Crafting. Let's have a look at the Stapler. Stapler requires a lot. <laughs> that's not that's not going to happen. Uh, Stapler's two red hearts, two soul hearts, one coin, two nickels, and a bomb. Pentagram. Pentagram's also not viable. Lots of cards, lots of soul hearts. Um, have a little look. What sort of cool damage ups could we get? Um, 
I think we suck this up because this is two hearts. Yeah, let's just let's just craft an item with all this crap for now. Let's see how that goes. See how that goes. Okay, the, this is a bad room for us. Uh, I hate these enemies so much. Oh, why you like this? Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Okay, good. Right, one more consumable in our bag and we're good to go. Let's just go with that. What? That is so easy. One soul heart, one nickel. And then, like, we can order that however we want. Oh my god, that's awesome. So, let's get that. Fucking hell, Jacob's Ladder's not that hard to craft. That's great knowledge. That's a very, very good item. But it's not that hard to craft. I'm actually just going to do this. Yeah, there you go. Just shoot the rock and get him. Why? 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 Why are you going to be like this, dude? Okay, good. Right. Crack on in here. Oh my god. Having trouble killing things, even with this now. Even with Jacob's Ladder now. So, let's... What's, a, what's an item that would be really cool with Jacob's Ladder? What's an item that synergized really well? Um, Monstro's Lung. Monstro's Lung is actually pretty easy to make. Let's hope we can make it. We'll see what we get from our item room here, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it definitely seems like doing the um, doing the the plays with. Do not steal my moving box charges. I will actually cry if you steal a moving box charge. Thank God. Ooh, a golden key. That's pretty good. So let's do that. So let's grab all of that shit. Um. Yeah. So I think we want to go. Let's put that in the bag. Let's hope we can get another charge from moving back. Okay, this is this is good stuff. Um, Monster as long as four hearts. Um, it's four hearts, two pennies, one bomb, and a pill. Alternatively, it's one penny, six keys, and a bomb. So we'll see. Okay, there's another item room here. So we definitely want to just get this key. We don't want to. We don't want to like pick up the key. Uh, right, let's leave all that shit in there for now. Okay, this is a. Uh, not a great room for us. God. Hate these leeches. Okay, so key. Key is great. We pop in here. We see what we get. That's a lot of pennies and another key. Right, leave that in there for now. Okay. This is our uh, this is our home sweet home of loot. And we've got a pill in there too, so we are actually on the way to making Monstro's Lung here. So this is definitely the way you've got to play this character. There's, there's no way that you can just willy-nilly craft anything you like and hope for a win. You've got to try and actually craft a run, which makes sense to me, to be honest, but still. There's another key. So the key method is actually possible. Uh, right. So. We've got another room over here. I can't remember what we've already sucked up. We're going to plop it all down. Oh, this thing's not dying very quick. Don't charge me, don't charge me, don't charge me. Thank you. Heart there. Right, so let's go back over here. Moving boxes are pretty pretty good item to have, to be honest, i got to say. Um, and we unbox everything here. We've trapped ourselves in a little cage here. Uh, so we want... That's a lucky penny. We don't actually want a lucky penny. So, Monstro's Lung. I think we just get out like that. Right, let's grab the additional penny that we need. I'm actually going to just pick up the lucky penny, just because we need, we need luck. Um, and then let's have a look at our hearts. So we've got one in there. So let's grab... And wait a minute, have we done this in the wrong order? No, we haven't. Okay. Um, grab another heart. Grab another heart. Grab a heart and a bomb. So, so far... 
so good. Heart and a bomb. Wait, no, I think I did it wrong. I think I did it wrong. They're in the wrong position now. Fuck. I don't know if that matters. And then we grab a pill. Oh, no, no, it works. There you go. And now we got Monstro's Lung. <laughs> awesome. Right, let's let's search another item that we might want. So what do we what do we have available here? So we can we can take a look at things that have golden key. Let's let's do this. So we've got a bunch of keys. Got golden key. Then four keys. So we had four keys. One, two, three, four. And then we've got pennies. Okay, so that, that doesn't actually lead to much. We can't get much with that. So what about if we do it in a different order? If we go one, two, three, four, and then that. No, that's always going to be 120 volt. Okay, so let's take that out of the equation. Let's go with one golden key, two of these. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's see. We can get some good stuff here. Um, ooh, okay. This is plausible? Wait, okay. Uh, this is this is really hard. Getting understanding and getting this right is so difficult. <laughs> so we we have a few things that we can craft with a golden key here, uh, but a lot of them require a nickel. And we don't have a nickel, so maybe we remove like if we add one key in there. Yeah, we, we get rid of that. So we remove one key from that. Um, these all require soul hearts. It'd be good if I had an interface for you guys to be able to see this as well. But I don't, unfortunately. Um, Titanic Bible's not that hard. Uh, one key, one golden key. Okay, this might be possible. So let's just dodge everything. Let's see what we have on the rest of this floor first, shall we? But also, yeah, we've, we've now crafted a pretty good run. So we have um, a few more keys in here. We have another bomb. So let's let, let one second. Let's let me count my bombs. Um, we have we need six for one of the items I'm looking at here. So we have one, two, we have three. It's a lot of pennies. Uh, in fact, let's just take let's take all of the stuff in this room because we can then go to our shop, which I don't think we've been to yet. Okay, and then we go. We got a heart there as well. Heart's not super useful, unless we get a lot of soul hearts alongside it. Okay, that's not super useful for us. But yeah, Monstrous Lung plus um, Jacob Ladder is pretty cool. Another key. But what we can do is if we don't find anything this floor that's going to work, we just pack all of our shit up and go. Even the golden key. Um, honestly, that's really good because champions drop more stuff. So I will 100% take that. It's more dangerous, but champions drop more stuff, which sounds super useful for us. 30% extra chance for champions is a 30% extra chance for items. Okay, there's there's our fourth bomb, I think, or fifth. I can't remember. Okay, nice. This is doing real well. Um, there's nothing we want to pack up yet. Coins I don't really care for, so I'm just going to pick that up. Okay, good. Another key. We're, we're pretty much fine for keys, so let's pick up the key. I don't know if uh, this affects bosses being champions. Okay, again, we'll pick up the key. Let's just pick up all of this. Um, right. This is tough. So we do have four rooms left. So what we can do is pack up some shit and take it somewhere else. So is there any shit that we want to move over to the other room? I think this room's worth of stuff here. We want to pack up. Good, good. And then... Oh, wait. I, I think I've just I think I've just balked us here. I think I just fucked this up. It, unless the shop has a battery, then we're okay. But otherwise, I think I just messed up. We need a charge to be able to pick our stuff back up, don't we? Of course. Let's get in here. Yes, it has a charge. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to buy this because I need it. <laughs> uh, let's jump down here. A little delirium. Interesting. Um, I don't think we can we can buy uh, hearts and then swipe them up. So let's go into this room. 
Right. I think I've got this right. So I go in here. I slap on you. Also, what time are we on for the episode? Because this this, this, could, this one could be getting pretty long. I do apologize, but this, this is a lot of theory crafting and a lot of remembering. So that's fine. We leave that there. Then we go and fight our boss, which gives us our last remaining charge that we need. Yeah, don't spawn things on me. I don't appreciate. Again, don't appreciate. Again, don't appreciate. And one more time. Oh, no. <laughs> Spawned it on me. Literally on me. Wait. Damn it, Jacob's Ladder. Get him. So... Golden Bomb... Interesting. Right, so first of all, I'm going to craft what I wanted to craft. So, let's have a look what we need for that. Um, We need... Wait a minute. I don't even know if we can. Do we have a pill available? I need to make sure we have a pill available to actually do this. I didn't even realise. We don't have any spare bombs either, so... Not great. Right, uh... Pill in the shop? Damn it, no pill in the shop. Um, okay, that kind of messes with my plans a little bit because I kind of thought we'd have a pill by now. First of all, let's go back over here. Spending a long time on this floor, but that's okay. Uh, what about if I if I drop everything in here and then I, I need to reevaluate the item that I'm going to give myself? So drop all that stuff in there. Then what about if I remove that and add in a golden bomb? Wait, so there's no recipes for golden bombs and golden key, apparently. That's interesting. So what about just Golden Bomb? Um, what's some really good stuff we can make with Golden Bomb that doesn't require Soul Hearts? There's a lot of stuff that requires Soul Hearts here. My god. Um, or Nickels. Soul Hearts and Nickels are like really common crafting recipe items. Um, damn. Yeah, so many things require Soul Hearts right now. Or Pills. God damn, this is tough. This is tough. Um, I want something that doesn't require just a ton of stuff. Um, we could get sack head, maybe. We need seven keys. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, I picked up a bunch of keys everywhere else, so we probably won't be able to get that. Five. Six. Ugh, that's not even six. Okay, I picked up a bunch of keys and I definitely shouldn't have done because now I'm changing what I want. Um, okay, let's go back to this room and reevaluate. This is going to take a bit of time, people. It's going to take a bit of time, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, right, so let's see. What, what's the cool stuff that we have right now? So, Golden Key, Soul Heart is something that we have. And then a bunch of bombs. So, Golden Key, Soul Heart. Plus a bunch of bombs. So, hmm. We don't have a card. If we had a second soul heart, we could get some good shit. Um, but we don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, we just don't. Uh, magic mushroom. We're pretty close to that actually, but you need a nickel for that. God damn it. Uh. How about Golden Bomb plus Soul Heart? Everything requires pills! This is so annoying. Everything requires cards and pills, and we don't have cards or pills. So if we just throw, like, two regular bombs in there. Oh, this is... This is tough, my guys. This is tough. Eight-inch nails. That requires a pill. Blader... Requires a nickel. Oh, I was so close to so much good stuff. Right, let's just let's just craft some random shit because we're just we're gonna be here forever if we if we don't. Let's just craft some random crap. Um, yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Opening chest gives us more stuff. Sounds good to me. And let's just pick up the rest of this. I'll pick up you and you. Oh, this has been stressful. This is hard. To, to, like, craft items that are actually going to be super valuable for you. It's very difficult. But we're just going to... With the rest of the stuff on this floor, we're just going to craft some random stuff. 
because we have to. There's nothing else we can do with it all. I was really... By, by, by the way, the, the, the item that I was trying to make this whole time was Lead Pencil. Uh, I saw Lead Pencil was pretty cheap, but it requires a pill, and we just don't have one. We do have another boss coming up, so we've got another item. Oh, we have our Golden Bomb here as well. How to jump? No. Glitter Bombs? Also kind of no. Dunce Hat? Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Weird. It's weird. It's strange. We'll take it. And the rest of this will just absorb into the bag. But the moving box is, is pretty good. Oh my god. Stupid me. I, I, I immediately forgot I just took Dunce Cap. I'm just thinking Dunce Cap means more tech hits. And as you can see, that's paying off quite well already. Can you stop spawning stuff on top of me? Or trying to, at least. Dude, I ju what did I just say? Barris up. Nickel will take. Bomb. Bomb. Yep, I'll take it. Common cold. This is so cool. I love this. It's so difficult, but it's so cool. We're making quite a mess of our run right now. Oh, there's a brimstone boy over here. Okay, hello. Okay, put a penny in it. Why not? So, moving box, of course, we want to um, we want to use it on item rooms, especially to pick stuff up, just to get them into other rooms or other item rooms. Poisoning use pretty good stuff. We're doing great damage considering we've got wish shot here. Both of you are poisoned and not dead. Surprising. Seems like the uh, the Jacob's ladder shots can poison, which is rather nice. Right, pop in here. Sadly, that's not very good at all. Yeah, I'll take tiny Terrasoma. Why not? Oh, got a luck penny here. That's kind of nice. So I did actually purposely craft one thing, but now I'm kind of in just throw it all in sort of stage. But yeah, that's definitely the way that you want to play it. If you really want to win with this character, you got to min-max and make every decision count. Put all that in the box. I'm going to move it out and not have to spend any money on it. So we should be fine for these dudes. We're zap zapping them as well. Is great and poisoning them too is also pretty good. Okay, so I probably probably want to reopen this back in here. Um, items there, of course, we can buy those to get some stuff. Um, um I wonder if like I think I'm gonna buy holy water here just because it might drop better stuff and it kind of does seem like it did. Just a HP upgrade, yes, definitely damage. Finally, damage. I need that so bad. I've been so desperate for damage for so long. Ooh, Tinted Rock here. Tinted Rock in the shop is kind of interesting. Ooh, Small Rock. Ah, oh, I forgot. <laughs> I immediately forgot. Um, I'm going to take the dime this time. Suck everything else up and then just buy this and see what else we get. That was not worth it. That was not worth the loss of a dime. Ooh, Ice Baby's pretty good. Good stuff. Suck up that key as well. Good. -er. I'm hoping for more chest drops. Wait. Do you know what's something we should definitely try and craft now? Guppy's tail. Guppy... Oh wait, I need to remove my bomb recipe. Guppy's tail. If we find a black heart or a rotten heart, Guppy's tail isn't that hard. But we have to find a black heart or a rotten heart. They're in all the recipes. Thank you, Ice Baby. Right, so... Oh, we actually managed to freeze him before he spawned any children, which is pretty nice. Oh my god, look at the amount of fucking spiders we just destroyed. How are you not dead, sir? There you go. Right, I'm just moving box in here. Really? Really? Okay, that does give items to us, I suppose. Um, Monster manual? No. Volatile? I'll take that. Okay, getting some okay stuff here now. 
Getting some okay stuff. This run's coming together. And this is Mum, isn't it? No, this is just Necro 1. But goddamn, we're slow. Oh, it's the bloke. Fantastic. Luckily, we do have angled shots. We have a slightly easier time staying out the way this guy's brimstone attacks. Although, this is Champion that just spawns some, some hyper bullshit every time he does anything. Don't love a bomb at me. That's too many bombs, sir. Right, HP's a bit of a concern now. I like the way that Moving Box gives stuff, and it still just gives stuff. The finger? Pretty good. Take that. Um, I, I can't trade away two hearts, can I? That, that'd be stupid. That'd be stupid. But yeah, so Guppy's Tail, we need two hearts, one black heart, and five bombs, which is pretty easy. Literally all we need is the black heart, but... Black hearts are kind of hard to find. Unless we get a bunch of bombs on this floor and maybe get one from a from a rock. <gasps> Eternal heart. Definitely scoop the loop that up. Uh, right, let's let's see what we can get with this. We've got in there right now, we've got heart. Eternal heart. Pill. So, from this, we can get... Ooh. Okay, we need to try and get two pennies, three keys. Two pennies, three keys. I'm not going to spoil what item we get just in case we do manage to get it. But I would love to get that. I would love to get that. I don't know how it's going to work with the run that we've got going on right now. But it would be very, very interesting. Oh my god. What's... What's all the shooting? Like, what enemies have spawned here? Oh, this guy spawns these dudes now? Okay. Fair enough. Did not know that. Interesting little bit of uh, trivia for me there. This guy has new spawns. This champion version, at least. I mean, he's getting kind of wrecked. Which is nice. I probably shouldn't take him wish shot, should I? It's kind of a massive detriment to everything that we're doing. A heart. I'm just going to take... Okay, so there's one key. That is one of our, one of our keys that we need. We need two more keys and two pennies. That should be achievable on this floor, right? If, if, if all goes to plan, which it won't, but if it does. Oh, hello. You're a champion and you're invisible. There's a penny, so we'll grab the penny. Ah, my god. Grab you. There's our second penny. Right, two more keys. Two more keys is all we need. Also, what is with all the fucking chub spam? God damn. This is too much chubbies. The chubby cubby is what this floor should be called. Come on, give us two keys, two keys. That's a penny. Don't care. Ooh, these guys should die pretty fast. Oh, they spawned bombing dudes. I forgot about that. Another penny. Damn, come on, game. Be be reasonable. There's another key. Right, please give us a key. Please give us a key. Fucking what? I will take basically all of this. Unfortunately, I can't buy keys to put in the bag. That's not really how it works. There's a key, there's a key. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And look at that. Look what we just got. Holy God. Yes. <laughs> now, this is why you spend time looking at the crafting recipes. Because you can make shit like this. This is so cool. This is so cool. Look at this bizarre run that we've crafted. I love it. Oh, basically, as soon as you get three or four unique items, search them up and see what you can make if you get the right items afterwards. Really? Red Mum just shot at me? Are you kidding? Where's your feet? Stupid Mum. Of course, these will just give us um, whatever. So, Dark Path, let's take that for the damage. And let's go. Wow, this is... Obviously a long video, 
<laughs> Any of you that are still here, I'm hoping this is enough of a reward. We should probably just use the box in that room, by the way. Some good stuff in there. So, box that up. Take it with us. Oh, this is so powerful. This is so powerful. I love it. Okay, we definitely want to open that up just because of Mum's key. Mum's keys are such a good craft. Holy fuck. Right, so if we go... Dime. Let's get these out of the way. So, right, let's let's have a little look-see here. So, we've got... Key. Wait a minute. Um, Remove them. Key. Bomb. Dime. Nickel. Dime. Wait, it says that nothing, that no recipes match this search. Golden bomb. Okay, I guess we're just winging it then. Eh, that's not great. Binky, honestly, I know it seems, I know it seems weird, but Binky's a soul heart and Binky's a tears up, so it seems good to me. Oh my god, I love this run so much. This run is so crazy. This run is so crazy. But yeah, Mum's Key is a top tier. A top tier grab. And like I said, if you can manage to get it with Guppy's Paw, that's insane. That's basically an item there. We should do this. We got an Eternal Heart again as well. And a Nickel. Okay, this is good. Good. So, ooh, what the fuck? More bosses, hello. Don't telefrag me. Okay, good. Right, so, let's just go. Like that, and then, fuck! Damn it, shit, didn't wanna do that. Right, heart, soul, heart. Heart, soul, heart, nickel. Heart, soul, heart, nickel, and pill. Um, so, let's have a little look, see what can we get here that'd be super cool for this run. Let's have a look if there's anything good. We're a so, we're, we're very close to Humbling Bundle. Um, we're pretty close to Analog Stick as well. Um, kind of close to eye drops. Kind of close to brittle burns. Sinus infection? Oh, that's two more nickels, though. Okay. Some of these aren't, aren't super reliable, I don't think. Okay, this is definitely the one we go for. One, two, three, four. There you go. Continuum. Fucking continuum on this run. I don't know how good it's going to be, but it feels like it could be pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Definitely if we get more range as well. God damn, we're getting so much good stuff. Mum's key is the best. PhD, I'm not too bad about PhD. That, I'm not too bad about that either. Oh, what the fuck? What even hit me then? I think I accidentally blew up a rock or something. Yeah, Fruity Plum, let's go. Fruity Plum, let's go. Fuck this room in the ass. God, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Yeah, you get you get wrecked. I know you got nerfed, but this is this is me nerfing you. This is me nerfing you. Boom, boom, boom. We can just pick up everything because we don't need any of it. We definitely need that though. Let's go. Holy shit, this is fun. I'm liking it. I wonder if we can get anything beaten with this run. We definitely need to craft some more HP. Well, our HP is real low. Boom and boom. Fruity plum. <laughs> Two of them now. I love that.
Okay, boom and boom. Crack that open, boom. And we keep going. Oh, this run. This run is special. I, I know that we're very weak in terms of HP, but this run in general is just very special to me. Sadly, no. This also, this champion thing's helping out a bunch. Having more champions is super useful. It's very, very useful indeed. And sacks, sacks are pretty good. I wonder if you can suck up sacks as they are. Probably not, right? Oh my god. We don't want to stick around on these floors even if it means less crafting. Oh fuck. You did the worst attack you could possibly do first. You never do that attack first. So we're going Dark Path. God damn, yeah, she did the worst attack she possibly could first. God damn it. We're in Shul now. We definitely need HP. Oh, wait, these guys spawn in Shul? Oh, shit. I did not know that. Thank you. I did not know these guys spawned in Shul now. Oh, my God. Them enemies are dangerous. Definitely going to suck that up. Okay. Phew, Stevens. Oh, my God. I forgot that Steven did this. This is now a very, very hard room. <laughs> Fuck that item. I'm not taking that. It's terrible. I need some HP game. I can get through this if you give me some HP. Ech, Harlequin Baby's also not great. Get a coin lined up. Yep, let's, uh, let's hope these guys don't charge us. My god. Thanks for the HP. Thanks for the HP. Thanks for the HP. That was very lucky. Stay still. <laughs> Move the bar out of the way. Great. Okay, we should be able, able to at least get Satan here, I'm hoping. If we don't get immediately hit. Oh my god. And Satan's looking amazing now as well with his new feet. Okay, we got Satan at least. Oh my god. Is that an unlock? I don't actually know. I don't know how the alt character unlocks work. I do know that probably all of these are not worth taking. <laughs> and I do know that we're probably dead. We're probably dead. Oh, yes. I need that so bad. I really don't want Harlequin Baby. I want something a little bit better. Okay, that could lead to something a little bit better. Indeed it can. Uh, Penny, you are traded for Nickel. Yumha? Yes, please. Thank you, Yumha. That is very, very nice. I don't know what my HP is, but I think I'm on full now. I think I'm on full. I, ca I can't believe we managed to accidentally craft two Fruity Plums in a row. Fruity Plums are amazing, especially when there's multiple of them. The pile, definitely a hard boss. Get him gone now. This has been such a bizarre run. Basically, I only purposely crafted like three things and it's just made this run. Okay, can't pick that up. Let's just craft with it. D20. Wooden nickel. D20. Whoa, what's this going to do? Flatstone? Oh, it does work. Surprisingly so. It does work. It creates some very strange little graphical bugs too. Which is interesting. Seems fine to me. It looks like it's raining. Good. Now that we've got Yum Heart, we can actually suck up hearts without worrying about not having healing. This enemy can go die in a fire right now. Okay. My god. Hey, Death. I love the visuals of it bouncing. It looks so nice. Okay. 
Dude, dude, just fucking die. Please. God damn it. <laughs> that took a while. Oh no, another one of these dudes. These enemies are so difficult. Lil Gish, let, add you to the crew. Ball attack plus Lil Gish should be a transformation. Oh my god. This is so good. Who'd have thought one Eternal Heart would fucking change the game? But it seems like I was right. Eternal Hearts do seem to give you Angel angel um, Room items. Because we had an Eternal Heart and we got this. Okay, that's uh, that's the Shovel Room. We don't need to do anything there. Oop, did not mean to pick up that key. Hello, fella. Oh my god. <laughs> I, hate, I hate when you see those little flies and you're like, okay, if I don't do this right, I'm doomed. Right, boss time. The lamb. But yeah, 100%, if you don't take your time with this character to actually craft good stuff and just play willy-nilly, it's going to be very hard to get a good win. Did I just... Did my game just fucking crash? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Anyways, be right back. Let's hope we can actually carry this on. Okay, we're back, but unfortunately, unfortunately, we no longer have, we no longer have Yum Heart, and we have to redo the whole floor. So there's a very strong chance that this time around we die, but at least we're con we can continue playing. I, I don't know what health we're actually on right now, and we will get the same items, but I do not remember the recipe at all. Like, I do not remember what we put in to get the Yum Heart, which is a real shame, because the Yum Heart was definitely our saving grace. At least we know the floor a little better now. We got a little dumpy again. Yep, we'll take that. Top as a HP up. We'll grab that. But yeah, we're not gonna get the same stuff this time, but we just gotta pray and hope that everything goes well. Oh my god. That again. Wooden nickel. Dad's key. <gasps> we could do mega. I think we should craft Dad's key here. It's unlikely we can beat Mega and the Lamb, but we gotta try, right? We gotta try. I think if I remember, this is the correct path. Yeah. I think if I remember, this is the right way for us to go. Okay. This guy's a pain in the ass because he does that stupid shit. The little horse thing. Okay, good. Got you. Okay, got these guys. That's pretty good, we'll take that. I cannot remember. Yeah, this is the right way. Good. Right. Let's go fight this dude. Hope we don't die and try and do mega afterwards if we can. But the fact that you can basically do mega on every run as this dude's pretty good. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't realize that was a brimstone attack. It's just you now, isn't it? Yeah, we got you. Okay, so no. And don't go in the chest. Take the black heart, 100%. And let's go try and fight Mega. <laughs> let's go try try and fight Mega. I don't know our health situation right now, so that's not great. And we probably could do more rooms and craft more items, but I think with every passing room that we do, we, we, we risk ourselves dying. I will do an additional one here because we already did this and we know it's the pile. 
And honestly, the pile's hard, but he's not super hard. Okay, that didn't give us anything. Right. <sighs> My god. Go. Let's try this out, shall we? Stay still. I will. But yeah, I kind of forgot that Kane would be so good for um, for getting to Mega because you can always craft Dad's key. That's super useful to remember. Okay, so that's our first one done. Okay, luckily we got a, we've got champion bosses, so that we got champion pestilence, which is way easier. I don't know why we got champion bosses here. Oh, fucking Mega Troll Bump! Fuck. Don't do that again, you fuck. Okay, we managed to stop him from spawning a bunch of shit. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I'm having things spawn on me. Stop it with a- what the fuck's moving around the room? Watch it- dude. This is so frustrating. I'm gonna die because things just keep spawning on me. I mean, it is because I'm having to shoot at an angle and it's making it more difficult, but still, come on now. This is some dumb fucking shit. Oh my god! I don't know this guy's attacks at all. As you can probably tell. How are you not dead yet, dude? Have they buffed Mega? They did. Fuck. I'm dead. That was unfortunate. They definitely have buffed Mega Satan. He is a lot harder than he used to be. Also, I got telefragged like six times that fight. Either way... We, we, we beat the lamb, and we can go and have a little look-see uh, if we go back, um, go to new run, and have a little look at Kane. We've now got two of the things done, so it seems that if we do the alt path and go for Isaac and Blue Baby, we get an unlock. Let's just take a little look, though. If we had have beaten Mega, uh, go Isaac, Tainted, Kane. Um, if we had have beaten Mega, what would we, what would we have gotten? Um, golden Pills. Damn, that's a shame. Uh... Yeah, it's a shame, but that was a good run nonetheless. Definitely going to be a character that we're going to have to put a lot of thought and effort into. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.